when somebody's asking for help and you're not able to help them, it just makes you feel so powerless. Jalen Farmunson says she is taking her power back. We have been waiting since Roe was overturned for this day. Today is the first step in our fight so that we can resume doing what we've been doing for nearly 10 years, helping pregnant Texans travel and access the health care they need and deserve. Farmunson appeared in federal court Tuesday. To fight back. She's part of Fund Texas Choice, one of several reproductive justice groups suing state prosecutors and Attorney General Ken Paxton. Who, as I'm sure many of you know or even covered, is not here today because he fled his home in order to avoid the court subpoena. As the Texas Tribune first reported, the anti-abortion attorney general. Life is protected when the heartbeat is first detected. Drove off with his wife Monday as an official attempted to serve him with a subpoena for the Tuesday hearing. In that hearing, the reproductive justice groups who have had to stop or severely modify their work involving abortions stated their constitutional rights are being suppressed. Overzealous and out of touch government officials have wielded their power to infringe on the rights of Texans to free speech, free association, the right to travel freely, and to petition the government for redress. Abortion funds are now defending these fundamental constitutional rights that are under attack. A legal complaint shows the groups want to resume funding abortions for Texans in states where the procedure remains legal. They're also seeking approval to provide transportation and information. The filing includes a letter from the Texas Freedom Caucus, a body of conservative legislators sent to a private law firm offering similar assistance to their employees, accusing them of reimbursing, quote, the travel costs of employees who leave Texas to murder their unborn children and threatens felony, criminal prosecution, and disbarment. The implications of this lawsuit go far beyond the future of abortion access in our state. This lawsuit will set a precedent for the future of the constitutional rights of interstate travel, free speech, and association. Shannon Ryan, Fox 7, Austin News.